The current estimate for the number of cars on the road in the United Kingdom today is around 30 million. If we presume that the majority of those cars have four wheels, well that's around 120 million tyres on our roads. Out of those 120 million tyres, how can you tell which is a Pirelli premium tyre and which is a budget tyre? We're going to join Harry and Tom, a couple of ordinary guys driving the same model of car along the same road. The only difference is that Harry has Pirelli premium tyres fitted on his car, whilst Tom opted for a cheaper brand. So, here's Harry, the one who chose Pirelli premium tyres for his car. Harry is an environmentally conscious kind of guy, and is happy he's reducing his impact, but not performance, by choosing tyres that help to reduce carbon dioxide emissions and minimise pollutants. But he also loves the smooth ride, great grip and handling he gets on the road. The reduced rolling resistance he experiences in his car, up to 20% lower than a budget tyre, could give him fuel savings of around 4%. Harry is pleased that his Pirelli premium tyres are going to last considerably longer than if it fitted some budget tyres. Given the same wear and tear, Harry's tyres could last for four years, but Tom's budget tyres may only last for three. That's a possible 33% longer lifetime than the comparable budget tyres. Oh. And don't forget the noise reduction. Harry's Pirelli premium tyres are typically one third quieter than Tom's budget tyres. All of these benefits are why vehicle manufacturers choose Pirelli premium tyres. Car producers work with premium tyre manufacturers to create a tyre that best matches the vehicle. We know that a car fitted with unsuitable tyres can affect the handling, be uncomfortable and noisy. So, back to Harry and Tom. Harry is a third of the way into his journey when he spots dark skies ahead. A rain cloud is 250 metres away from Harry. Harry's car is travelling at 60 miles an hour. The rain cloud has just deposited 2 millimetres of rain onto the road surface over a distance of 300 metres. Harry's car will be under the rain cloud in approximately 9 seconds. The rain cloud is the least of Harry's problems. 450 metres ahead is Daisy. She's a Frisian cow, and a fine one at that. Daisy stands a proud 1 metre and 47 centimetres tall at the shoulder and weighs in at 685 kilograms, unmilked. Harry spots Daisy up ahead and hits the brakes as fast as he can. His Pirelli premium tyres have a 20% less chance of aquaplaning than a typical budget counterpart. This superior braking in the wet allows Harry's car to slow and come to a controlled stop 6.18 metres away from Daisy. Harry is somewhat relieved, as is Daisy. But unbeknown to Harry, just moments behind him is Tom. Tom opted for those cheaper brand tyres. Tom sees Harry's car ahead and immediately brakes. Tom brakes 50 metres away from Harry's car, but at the same speed, 60 miles an hour, his budget tyres will take an extra 16 metres to stop in the wet. Tom manages to swerve, avoiding Harry's car and Daisy, before coming to a standstill in a large hedgerow at the side of the road. Tom made a choice and went for the budget tyres, because he saved money on his initial purchase and bought a couple of new golf clubs. Now though, he'll have to pay for the insurance excess to cover the damage to his car, not to mention the cost of organising its recovery. Plus, he's now going to be late for a meeting with his boss to discuss his promotion. It really isn't Tom's day, but he's thankful he's in one piece. Tom had to wait over an hour in the rain to get his car towed out of the hedgerow. Harry checked Tom was alright before getting back into his car and carrying on his journey. And as for Daisy the cow, she went on to produce a magnificent 30,000 pints of milk over the next two years, primarily for yummy ice cream. The moral of the story? Pirelli premium tyres bring many benefits to the driver and to the environment, not to mention other road users, including cows. No cows were harmed in the making of this film. <laughs>